Guten Abend. Welcome back, valued viewers, to today's media commentary, shedding light on currently still very controversial topics. Self-appointed World Police Force USA uses convictions and record fines to ruin European banks. The Swiss bank Credit Suisse was only the beginning. Not long ago, European banks were being saved with unified strength and trillions of euros from the European Central Bank and tax income from European Union countries. Since then, there has been a relative calm in the financial sector. But as of the beginning of June 2014, the banks are again under fire from the USA. US government officials are now concentrating on the European banking system. They are making and passing their own laws as they go. Last week, Credit Suisse had to plead guilty to having supported tax evaders. The fine was set at $2.8 billion payable to the USA. Concerning the accusation against the Swiss bank, the USA decided against a trial. The US hunger for money dictates swift and unscrupulous action. A current national debt of 18.5 trillion US dollars screams to be repaid. But where to take it from without stealing it is the question. The USA has the solution. They say, where to get it? Well, just steal it. They have one unfailing weapon. They control the international use of the dollar. Even today, the entire international trade method, especially payment of raw materials, is based on the dollar as currency. And this allows Washington to exclude everyone from dollar transactions who fail to follow their dictates, and thus excluding them from international trade. Power rules instead of justice. Threatening with this weapon always works, no matter what the reason. A bank that is excluded from international trade, which happens to be the US dollar, does not survive a single day. The Swiss bank Wegelin, for example, had to be closed in 2012 for exactly this reason. But what is more controversial than the fine itself is that the bank was forced to plead guilty. And this is where the grave, notable difference lies between Credit Suisse and a similar case of the American bank J.P. Morgan. This bank also had to pay a fine, but it was only a fine, not an admission of guilt. And this had a good reason. Because who would want business ties to a bank, which has been officially convicted of felony? Forcing Credit Suisse to admit its guilt could lead Credit Suisse to face considerable problems, all the way up to the point of bankruptcy. Insiders fear, because of this, uncontrollable domino effects in the banking system if Credit Suisse gets into existential trouble. They are one of the most important financial institutes on the globe. Large-scale clients are already terminating their business contracts. The worst thing a bank has to fear is the loss of trust. And that is the exact thing that can happen when admitting guilt, with unforeseeable consequences, not only for the bank, but for Switzerland and the entire monetary system. Credit Suisse was only the beginning. Next in line, the French BNP. Here there is talk of a $10 billion fine. The French Prime Minister Hollande has already warned about effects on the stability of the entire financial system and has said, we will not allow ourselves to be harassed by the USA. But to speak of harassment is really more of an understatement. The USA autocratically decides who has to face up to prosecution. It is probably the most effective method of blackmail in the world. Whoever gets trapped in this web of threatened exclusion from the dollar pays the fine, guilty or not. He just pays. This is what the leadership of Credit Suisse did also, even though not one court in the world had spoken the verdict guilty. The USA's success is sure in every case unless other nations follow Russia and China's example. 
These countries have recently decided to no longer use the dollar for future trade with raw materials, but rather their own currency. They have already started with this, and we will have to wait and see if other nations follow suit. We can now especially watch to see how the USA will react. With this knowledge, the current sanctions the USA is demanding against Russia seem to fall into a different light. Stay tuned. We'll inform you about further development in this area. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you back soon on Klagemauer TV. Guten Abend.